Are you spending money on ads that aren't converting? Are you getting leads, but they're not closing? Is your CPA, your cost per acquisition too high, but you don't know how to lower it? If you're like most companies or most marketers, you're frustrated with your acquisition costs. If that's you, keep watching. If it's your first time here, I'm Jonathan Kendall, founder of Virtual Worker Now and Sonic Solutions. My marketing systems have done over $100 million and I have over 400 employees all over the world. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to troubleshoot your sales funnel like a mechanic and also how to fix it step by step. But first, hit subscribe and push the bell notification. On this channel, we share actionable, tactical business advice that will help you scale, but we keep it interesting by using lessons from philosophy, history, literature, and of course, books. With that said, let's dive in. Step one, understand your metrics. So how do you troubleshoot a funnel that's not working? Step one is to understand that there are two types of funnels, marketing funnels and sales funnels. A marketing funnel's goal is to get visitors to the point of sale meaning show up to your brick and mortar store or visit your website. Whereas a sales funnel job is to convert those shoppers into leads and customers. For each of these funnels, you need to track certain metrics. Okay, for your marketing funnels, you're going to want to know your cost per view, CPV, meaning how many people are reading your blog or seeing your ads, basically how many people are interacting with you at the very top of the funnel, that's your cost per view. After this, look for how many people are actually clicking on that ad or that social media post, i.e. how many people go to your website, that's your cost per click, CPC. For your sales funnel, you have to track your cost per lead, CPL, your conversion rate, and your cost per acquisition, CPA. These are the metrics that show you how many people who clicked on your ad ended up buying your product or opting in to your lead magnet or your free trial. So for example, and we're gonna do some math, put on your thinking cap. So for example, if you have 100 leads and 20 of them become customers, your conversion rate is 20%. How much you spent to get that customer is your cost per acquisition, which is obviously the most important metric. If your CPA is not low enough, most likely you don't have a business. For example, if you spend spend $10 to get a customer to buy your $5 product, you don't have a company. You're just wasting your money. You're throwing in the trash. So the goal of everything I'm about to teach you is to lower your cost per acquisition. Your CPA is life and death for your company. So how do you lower your CPA? Four ways. Lower your cost per view, lower your cost per click, lower your cost per lead, and then increase your conversion rate. Four things. If this sounds too confusing to you, stay with me. I'm going to break it down into actionable points. Or if you'd rather hire experts to build out and test your funnel for you, you know where to go. The link to Sonic Solutions or Virtual Worker Now is in the video description. Okay, but step two, define what success is. Now that you have a general understanding of the metrics that you need to track, step two is to decide where is the problem. And right off the bat, and to clear the air, there is no magic formula. There's no good conversion rate. It completely 100% depends on your industry and margin. For example, if you have a hyper targeted top of funnel where you're manually reaching out to people one by one, and by the time they become a qualified lead, there's no barrier to entry, then you want a very high conversion rate. For example, if you use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to give away free trials to your software, this conversion rate should be 20% or higher, at least. Whereas if you're selling a mass market e-commerce product like a hoodie or a blanket or a t-shirt, then a 2% conversion rate is fine because your cost per view is going to be much lower because a lot of people could potentially buy your product. Your TAM, your total addressable market is much higher. So this is not the sexy answer, but it's also the truth. A good cost per view, cost per click, cost per lead, and conversion rate. What is a good rate? It really depends on your company, but either way, you need to know what your cost per acquisition is and then reverse engineer the percentages that you want in order to reach that target CPA, which means you just need to look at the data and use common sense. Ask yourself, is this a good cost per lead relative to the CPA I want? Is this a good cost per view relative to the CPA I want? Is this a good conversion rate? If they're not, then you know where the problem is. So what if your problem is your marketing funnel? What if not enough people know about you and the people who do aren't clicking? What do you do? Step three, troubleshoot your marketing funnel. P90X is a well-known fitness program. When they first started, they spent a lot of money on marketing. So they were getting a lot of views, but still their cost
cost per acquisition was way too high. So what did they do? They changed two things. One, their infomercial. They rewrote the entire copy and refilmed the infomercial, adding videos of people doing the workouts with tons of before and after testimonial. And two, they said that their unique value proposition was that they used muscle confusion, which they made up, but it worked. It had a sticky virality to it, meaning they basically changed the ad, which got more leads calling, which led to more sales, which led to a lower cost per acquisition. Downstream of that one change, they reached hundreds of millions of dollars in sales. The lesson here, a small change in your marketing funnel can transform your business even if nothing else changes. They didn't change the script, they didn't change the price, they just changed the information. So how do you know where the problem is in your marketing funnel? The metric to look for is cost per view. If the cost per view is too high, that means you're not getting enough visitors to your website or your store. No one knows about it. If this is your problem and you're running ads, your problem is either your targeting is off or you're not spending enough, or the actual ad creative needs to be improved, the copy or the image or the video, just like what P90X did. Or if you're not doing any organic content, then start a blog or go harder on social media so people will know who you are and see you. And a lot of people are reading your articles or viewing your ad, but no one's clicking. That means that your call to action isn't strong enough or your offer is weak. So I know that was a lot, but let's recap here. You can rewind if you need to. But here's the thing. If your cost per view is too high, then you have a problem with your marketing funnel, which basically has two branches, ads and organic content. If the problem is your ad, then check your target audience, your daily budget, and your creative. And if you're not doing organic marketing, you better start on that blog or scaling your social media Channel. Lastly, never forget your CTA, your call to action, and make sure your offer is enticing enough for people to actually click. Step four, troubleshooting your sales funnel. Okay, imagine this. You have this amazing offer. I'm gonna give you 10 blog posts for free. People are excited, they go to your website, but they don't find any form to fill out. There's nowhere to put their information. And then at the bottom of the page, it says, give us a call on blah, blah, blah. We're only available from nine to five, Monday through Friday. A lot of people are gonna click away, but some don't. They want that free blog post, so they call you, but then no one answers. So how are you ever going to make a sale with this type of system? This is an extreme example, obviously, of a sales funnel that doesn't work, but the goal here is to remove all friction and make it so easy for a customer to buy your product. A great example of this is what we're doing at Virtual Worker Now in Sonic Solutions. If you have a meeting with our team, we give you a proposal within a few hours, and we review resumes within 24 hours, and we'll give you a free sample within 48 hours of whatever solution you want. This is why our sales cycle is so tight. We don't talk about what our product is. We give you a taste. Now, if you've checked and your marketing funnel is fine, the cost per view is under control. Everything we talked about is working well. You probably have a problem with your sales funnel. So how do you troubleshoot it? One, start with your cost per lead. Let's say people are clicking on your ads. They're going to your website, but no one is actually converting into a lead. Then you need to give them a reason to opt in. Offer a lead magnet, for example, a free trial or a free consultation call, something that will make them want to give you their information in exchange. This also builds reciprocity. Or what if you're getting tons of leads and a lot of people are filling out the form, they love your lead magnet, maybe it's an ebook or a free web class or a consulting call, but when people get to the checkout page, they abandon their cart and they never come back. Or they schedule a call with you, but they don't show up to the call. In these cases, the problem is that you're not nurturing your leads. So you need to add email, text, and voicemail sequences. Or you may need to hire a sales setter who can auto dial and call everyone to improve the chances that they buy. Or maybe everything is fine. The lead opts in and they go all the way down the funnel and they show up to your call, but you don't close. This means your sales scripts and your sales materials are bad. You might wanna try replacing your FAQ with a menu or offering a demo of your software to allow them to test the waters. So if the problem is your CPL, update your funnel with clear messaging and give a free trial, consulting, or lead magnet to get leads in the door. If the problem is conversion percentage, people aren't showing up to the call or they're not actually buying, improve your sales scripts and sales materials and improve your nurturing sequences. Okay, step five. Maybe the funnel is not the problem. So if you've checked both your marketing and your sales funnels, and they're both fine, you're crushing on social media, you have a really good offer with a strong CTA, you have killer copywriting and your website is optimized, but still no one is buying, it's probably one of two things. One is that you're pricing yourself out of the market because your competitors are better and they're cheaper. Either that or you just don't have product market fit. People just don't need what you're offering. In this case, you'll have to just revamp your entire service or product or business, which by the way, 
this is totally fine and it's totally normal. You don't have to feel like a failure or curse the fates that gave you a product no one wants. It's incredibly common for companies to remove underperforming products or services. Do you remember what Google Wave is? You probably don't. Google Wave was supposed to be a communication platform that combined the best features of email, instant messaging, online chat, social networking, etc. But it didn't catch on because it didn't have product market fit. Google didn't do enough research or test whether there was going to be demand for this type of product given the market conditions. So even Google makes mistakes. They make a lot of mistakes. In fact, people that are successful make the most mistakes, but they don't die because of all of these mistakes. They switch gears quickly and they pivot whenever they need to. That is the smart thing to do. And you should do that too. In short, most people think of marketing as a brand and a tagline, or they put so much time into choosing the colors of their logo, you know, Mad Men style. All of that is crap. Until you're an international fashion brand or you're competing for Coca-Cola versus Pepsi campaigns, none of those design slash vibe elements really matter. Most likely your funnel isn't working simply because you're not looking at the data correctly. You're not aware of what's working and what's not working and why. Marketing is half data, half psychology. Think about the data like a car. If you're a mechanic and the engine is smoking and there's a clicking noise, you know the problem is not the front right wheel. It's not the trunk or the air conditioning. The problem is probably the engine. You have to approach business in the same way. If no one even knows you exist, you shouldn't be trying to improve your sales materials and your demo. Focus on the top of the funnel. Or if you're getting 30 qualified sales calls a day, but no one is converting, your price might be too high or you just don't have product market fit. The point here is that the data always shows you the problem. And if you know the problem, you can figure out the answer. So if you're not tracking any data, then you don't know what the problem is. And if you don't know what the problem is, you can't possibly fix it. And by the way, I know this lesson was a bit complicated, lots of acronyms, lots of numbers, so you may have to rewatch it and that's okay, but you have to do what you have to do. At the end of the day, if you don't know your cost per view, if you don't know your cost per visitor, you don't know your cost per lead, you don't know your conversion rate, and you don't know your cost per acquisition, you cannot fix your funnel because you don't know what you need to fix in the first place. So please start there. Okay, I hope that helped. And of course, as always, if you want my help with your business, you have three options. One, if you're not sure what you need, schedule a call with me at jonathankendall.com and we'll figure it out together. Two, if you need full or part-time staffing, go to virtualworkernow.com. We have social media specialists, video editors, graphic designers, copywriters, executive assistants, VAs, accountants, web developers, etc. Or three, if you prefer done for you services and you want me to just do everything for you, go to sonicsolutions.io. We do lead gen, funnel building, email marketing, social media, SEO, and LinkedIn. Links are all in the description below. Either way, we'll talk soon.